Hello everyone. Welcome. My name is Lisa. So today what we're going to do is a faves and fails type video for September as the title says. Now I've never done one of these so bear with me if I miss a product that you know I tried this month. Um, comment down below and we'll I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. So um, before we get started I do want to say let's keep our mind our hearts and our prayers with the people of Las Vegas, uh, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Florida, Texas. They still need that. Uh, it, it's especially the ones that went through the hurricane. It will be a long time recovering for them. And I don't understand Las Vegas. I do not understand people that do that. There, there's just there's no rhyme or reason to it. So. Uh, you know that that's it, it's sad and it's very heartbreaking so yeah now um let's get started at this because I, I don't know how long this video is going to be so yeah um let's start off first with a couple of foundations i did the lala fox second skin foundation i gave this one a fail because I love the finish of it and everything. It just had absolutely no staying power at all, period. If it had stuck around for a couple more hours, this one might have went, you know, in the other way. Of course, my e.l.f. is a favorite. The Flawless Finish Foundation. Um, let's see here. Then my Maybelline Fit Me has become a fave of mine. Because I can use it on my cheeks, my eyes. Yeah. And what color was that? Now, let's see here. Uh, the pink rose. Now, um, this one here, this BB palette and this BB palette. Let's go over these two things. Now, this big thing, it has bronzers, contours, highlighters, blushes, eyeshadows in it and two double-ended brushes. Now I'll be honest with you. The brushes themselves are pretty good. It's just I don't like double-ended ones because I like to be able to stand them up in, um, you know, a holder. So, you know. I am going to have to. It is pretty. I like the bling and everything. It's a little thick, heavy, you know. Uh, as an all-in-one palette all the way around, I'm going to have to give it a fail. It, it, it just, the eyeshadows in this, this one here compared to this here are not as good. They really aren't. So this one here is a fave. This is a BB as well. I got it for like $6.99, this big thing here. I got for like, um... $12.99. So, you know, if you see this one, go ahead and grab this one. Leave this one alone. Save your money. Because all you'll do is fight with these, you know, they, they're hard to blend. The highlighters are really glittery and they made my wrinkles and pores look worse. So, that one's a fail. This one's a fave. It's quickly becoming a fave. Um... Let's go over the Lala Fox Mascara and Eyebrow Pencil. Mascara, I'm going to have to give it a fail. Unless you've already got plenty of lashes and all you want to do is darken them. You know, that's all this will do. Like if you've got blonde lashes and you've got lots of them and they're already long, you know, it'll darken them. But that's about it. Now this pencil, I have to give it a, for me... So, the mascara was a fail. On this eyebrow pencil, for me it's a fail. But it's a fail because of how it's shaped. It is shaped as if somebody, and it's pretty hard. It is shaped, you know how some are shaped narrow on one end and they, they're long and almost triangular? This, 
this is kind of shaped like that, but it has a poor, you know, if all you're wanting to do is, you know, darken a little bit, you got plenty, you just need to sharpen up the edges a little bit and stuff, it'll work, but I have to put it, I, I, you know, for six bucks, you know, I'll grab the elf one before I grab this one. So, and this is the elf uh, eyebrow pencil. Same thing, if you're needing to just darken, you don't have to draw in like me individual hairs. This is pretty good, it's got pretty good staying power, and it's only two bucks. Of course, we all know my L'Oreal Brow Precise is almost, it's holy grail for me. So, another, I have two of these Maybelline Master Precise um, concealers. I have the pink, and I have apricot, I do believe is what it is. For me, this pink is becoming holy grail really quickly. Uh, I don't like the apricot just because it's so dark, so intense that it starts peeking through the um, concealers. So if you're a little darker complected, and I, I wanted to get the Tarte Shape Tape to I think that might work over but this here this pink if you're lighter complected yeah yeah this is worth it yeah it, it's it's pretty intense I mean I can see this lasting for a long time so and then I have this L'Oreal Pro Glow concealer these two together are becoming very good they pay, pair very well, especially if you have kind of crepey under eyes. Uh, you put this on, it's almost moisturizing, and then you set it with a little bit of powder. It does really good. Is it as intense as my Master Precise? No. For coverage? No. But, uh, I do like it. You know, I, I've been using it, so it's not holy grail status, but it, it, I do like it. Of course, then the Maybelline Fit Me Powder is very good. And another fave is this Hard Candy Setting Spray. <laughs> As you can tell, it's about empty. And it's just block. It says Makeup Setting Spray. Fast and Fabulous. Now, another one, and I'm trying out because that one's empty. I'm trying out another one, and it's Hard Candy Brighten uh, Setting Spray. So, the next one I'm going to do is the balm. I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. Love the eyeshadows. Like the highlighter. The blushes, on the other hand, uh those are so intense that you you need to be careful with them but i love the eyeshadows unless you can get this on sale no because i know this is high end but you know it was on sale when i did the video at walmart for really cheap you know if you can get this on sale go for it uh, let's see here of course l'oreal uh, Lash Paradise and I think that's about it right now I'm testing out you're probably wondering what's happened to the boots number seven I'm testing it I got a new sponge one of the L'Oreal sponges that I'm working with to try out so I can let you know um, I got one of the elf uh, beautifully bare liquid lips Thought I'd give that a run for its money so I've had some people ask me, you know, what do I do with my excess makeup, you know, and things like that. So, they think I return it. I don't return my makeup. Uh, we, I have a women's shelter here, so I'll take some of the makeup to it, except for mascara and eyeliner, of course. But uh, I'll take makeup there, or I'll find somebody that, um, you know, could use some makeup. And donate it to them um 
you know, that's what I do with my excess makeup. I I try to get it to people that could use it, you know, that they don't have it. So, yeah, that's what I do with my excess makeup. So, uh, I think that's about it. I want to thank you for joining me. God bless you. Have a safe day. And bye-bye.